Hi there again, welcome to part two of this exercise 4a for further mathematics vectors. Let's get on with it. So um, we uh, went through a few questions. Our next question says, determine whether these four points, A, B, C and D, lie in the same plane. Well, there's one thing I want to point out to you. And it's a little trick which I'm putting up on the screen now. If A, B, C and D are coplanar, that basically a posh way of saying in the same plane, then we can use this trick, AD dot AB cross AC equals naught. And it comes from this idea that two vectors will be um, equal to zero if they're at right angles to each other. And we've already seen that um, the R dot N equals, well, effectively D, um, some number, the same number if they are. So you can see this is all coming together. And so I'm going to use this idea of finding the n, the normal to the three vectors. And then we'll use the uh, other vector to see if it's equal to zero. That's basically the idea. So um, I'll, I'll have a go at this. So um, let's go with a, b, as it says a, b there. And we'll find a, b. And a, b is 2. One takeaway, that's two again. Now these ones we've seen before, I'm not sure. One takeaway, that's minus two. So that's my AB. And then I need AC. And again, if I do that, it's three, that's one. Three takeaway minus one is four. And two takeaway three is minus one. So there's my um, two of those. Now you recall from the last video that we can cross them by using the IJK trick. And this looks as if it's the same one as we did last time, but I can't remember if it is, so I'm going to do it properly. Write the first vector down, write the second vector down, and then I shall do it quite quickly. It's I times by two, minus two, and it's minus and minus eight, so that's plus eight, minus the J. The J is the two times by minus one is minus two minus the one times by minus two which is minus two so it's plus two and then plus k i've got k i've got two four so eight minus one two is two so what that gives me it gives me a vector of minus six for my first vector number uh, that looks like zero to me and then the k one is six. Okay, so that's my uh, dot product now ready to go. So I now find AD, let's find it up here, AD equals minus three minus two is minus five. Um, one minus and minus one is two, and five minus that is two as well. So if they are coplanar, when I dot these two things, and as I've set up there, it's the AD minus 5, 2, 2. I dot it with that minus 6, not 6. This doesn't look to me does it, if it's going to give me 0. So that gives me 30 plus 0 plus 12, which is 42. And that is not equal to 0. So a bit disappointingly, this is not coplanar. And that says they're not in the same line. So yeah, so D does not lie in the same plane as A, B, and C. All right, so uh, just a reminder what we said before. This was kind of what we've just done, a slightly modified version. And um, I've just now said, well, just be aware that since R is X, Y, Z, and my N can be written as N1, N2, N3, N1, N2, N3, it's quite common, as I showed you last time, to multiply these out in this form and then equals to some number. Um, because that's what D is. It's just a number got, we got from A dot N. So let's use that fact and try to answer these questions. So this first example then says the plane pi is perpendicular to the vector N. Um, so what I'm going to do here is just write down um, Obviously, we've got this formula now at the top, but it says r dot n, and n is 2, 4, and minus 1. And that equals, well, I'm going to write it down as d. And what I do now is basically is take this point a, which is in the plane, so it must fit this rule, and I can sub it into my r. So I go 3 minus 5, 1. 
dot two four minus one and that allows me to find my d um, three two is a six minus 20 minus one so that's uh, i think that's minus 15. so i end up here with an equation that says r dot two four minus one equals minus 15 and believe it or not that is the equation they want um, find the cartesian equation of the pi of the plane pi notice this is a funny looking pi it's a capital pi so it's not so obvious but that's what it's that's how you read it and this is actually easy as well so this is x y z we will, whenever we get r it means x y z dot two four minus one equals 15 and you can literally just write it out like this 2x the top plus 4y minus that z equals 15. I quite like that. It's quite easy. What have they got? Minus 15. And um, oh, they, the only thing they've done is move the minus 15 over. So that works. So that question is done. Write down this equation of the plane through the point that, given that the vector is perpendicular to the plane. So notice, whenever they give you the perpendicular to the plane, that is your n. Um, they might say normal to the plane or perpendicular to the plane. So in this particular question, I've got 2 minus 1, 3. I already am expecting to use r dot n equals some number, which I usually write d like we did last time. And um, it goes through this point again. I think this is dead easy again. So this is 4, 5 and minus 2. If I dot that with that 2, 1, um, minus 1 and 3, it will tell me what my d is. 4, 2 is 8, minus 5, minus 6. What's that? Minus 3. So presumably I've got r dot, that's 2, minus 1, 3 is equal to minus three. Um, that's what I think the answer is. We're checking a bit, I suppose. And it said verify that this point also lies on the plane. Actually, this will prove to me if I've done it right. So um, that is a different point. But in the same way as I use this point, and it told me what my, here it was, what my um, my D is, I can get do the same thing over here. So I'm going to do two, four, minus one. I'll dot it with my N again, my two, minus one three and if it's in the plane i'll get the same answer which was what was it minus three so two twos are four plus and minus four and minus a three all right yeah that works doesn't it because they obviously cancel i get minus three and so it's the same number so therefore must um, be uh, also lines on the plane okay lines on the plane um what did it say again they've moved it over does it say find the cartesian equation oh it does say at the top here cartesian form is the default if neither vector nor cartesian are stipulated it's a bit harsh that because it doesn't say it has to be in that form but you can see it's relatively easy for me to rewrite this because again that means x y and z but that's worth me noting that up there i didn't a long time since i've taught this so i didn't think of that um, if that equals that, then you can quite clearly see that that is true. 2x plus minus a y plus 3z equals minus 3. And you can then rejig it about if you wish. Um, now, this uh, this one, it says we want to be able to solve, are you able to find a normal vector to the, to the plane so we can solve the following types of problem. Um, so I've got... Um, all right, so it's in this form, which we've seen a few times over, where we've seen it written as r plus a plus lambda d1 plus mu d2. That's what that is. And it basically gives me two vectors in the plane and a, a point on the plane. That's what we're doing. And I suppose what I need to do with this, I need to get my n. If I can get my n, I can write my Cartesian equation on the plane, because as we've seen, we can do that easily. Luckily, I have two vectors in the plane. So um, let's have just uh, have a go at this. So uh, I'm going to take my one, one, three. I'm going to take my, I'm going to cross them. I nearly went wrong there. I'm going to take my second vector in the plane. And the, the whole thing about crossing them is you get your um, uh, a vector which is at right angles to both of these. So my, my n literally is going to be equal to this crossing so i write this with an i a j a k i shall write the one one three i shall write the two minus three and five 
to what this gives me. Let's have a look. Um, that gives me an i, and I shall use the 1 times the 5 minus the minus 3 times, so that's like a plus 9 minus the j. Remember, it always goes plus minus plus. The j is 1 times by the 5 minus 2, 3 is a 6. OK, plus a k. And the k will give me minus 3 and then 2, so minus another 2. OK, so that gives me, um, I think, 14. That sounds like minus 1, so that must be plus 1, really. And that's minus 5. So this is, remember, my normal. And because I've got r dot n equals d, r dot my normal equals some d. Now, the question is, how do you find the d? And the answer is, luckily, with this form, you do get a point in the line as well. And that's what you need. You need a point in the plane. Point, I meant to say point in the plane. A point in the plane, which I have, and I dot it and I get my d. So let's just sub that in. Therefore, I can go 1 minus 2, 5 dot. What was it? It was 14, 1 and minus 5. Let's dot that. What do I get? I get 14 from the top line, a minus 2 and minus 25. So that's not minus 2. That's minus 13. So my um, a Cartesian equation, my vector equation, sorry, is r dot 14, 1 and minus 5. And that equals minus 13. And because it does say Cartesian equation, uh, I'm going to write 14x plus a y minus a 5z equals minus 13. And I've seen on a few of these questions, they move the minus 13 over. So let's see what my answer should have been. Oh, there's a load of garbage here. This is, if you like, some notes for you to have a look at if you don't understand what I've done. Um, but that's how oh, that's the that's the number I had. It was even done in the same place. So look, there's one more question that um, this does. I'm not going to do this now. I shall save this to the lesson. I think this is quite a trickier one. Um, or at least in that form it might be. Um, uh, but we are going to do in class pure core two and this exercise. I think it will take a long time. Um, it's certainly more than an hour's worth. So um, it will keep us busy. Thank you very much.